friends today we are going to see how we can write our first selenium automation script in eclipse so for this the prerequisite will be you should have java installed on your machine and eclipse setup is uh, present on your machine so you can see this is my current eclipse setup where i am going to create a eclipse java project in that particular project i am going to write first selenium automation script so we are going to see what are the different things we need to do before we able to successfully run our automation script so first thing i will create the new project new java project in eclipse so it will be a selenium test so you can see i am currently using java 1.8 my project is ready so this project is currently using 1.8 java now i will go ahead and create a sorry before class i need to create one package maybe basic package where i am going to create a selenium first script class this class will hold the code for selenium automation the thing is we we have not done anything by which we can interact with the selenium codes to do that we need to have the selenium jar configured for this particular project how we can do that of course for that we need to go to the selenium hq website so let me go to the selenium hq website this is the official website from selenium where you can go and see okay so current download version for selenium is 3.7.1 so let me download it i might have downloaded this earlier as well so okay so you can see the version is already downloaded by me so this is the version i am going to use for my project how i can do that so go to the your project again go to the properties go to the build path library you can see currently eclipse this particular java project is using this particular java library now you need to add that external jar which is holding all the selenium code how you can do that we know where we have downloaded it i'm just going to configure that particular version with this particular java project apply and okay so now my this selenium project is configured with the selenium jar okay so how we can test it of course to run any javascript we need a main method so let's write main method public static void in main string arg square bracket and now this will be your method which will hold the selenium automation code so what will be the entry point to the selenium code it's a web driver where we are going to create an object prop firefox driver new so you can see i have created a firefox driver object so we are planning to run our automation on firefox driver so the prerequisite for this as well if you want to run your firefox okay so we need to set some property this is applicable for the latest version and currently since we are using almost um, browser 55 so browser 47 and plus version need this property so i have already copied this particular property so i will just paste it this is for web driver uh, firefox driver so you can see i have downloaded gecko driver.exe so how you can download this particular gecko driver.exe again you need to visit selenium website where you need to find gecko driver so you can download so you can see current versions of 
Geekko driver is 0 0.19.0 you need to download this so this after downloading after downloading you can see this particular uh, exe now you just need to configure that particular e exe in your code if you don't do this firefox will not be launched if your firefox version is lesser than 46 yes without this line your code will work this is this line number 12 is must for 47 and above so driver dot so get where we will be launching the url okay so let's we want to do some automation on google.com so you can see i will just get this particular url <coughs> now so line number 13 will launch the browser without any uri or url now we are launching a application after that of course i want to put some actions on the ui so for this example for this particular page once this particular page will be launched i am going to perform maybe some entering a text into the this search box for that you need to install fire firebug and firepath so that you can inspect the element so what is this firebug and firepath this will be covered in a separate tutorial or video where we will learn about the fire path and firebug so fire path and firebug will be used to write the xpath what is this xpath xpath is a language which we can use to identify the element on the ui so currently this is the language this is the code which i used so you can see after i highlight on that particular xpath so the text box is getting highlighted and at the bottom you can see one matching node so this means that this is this code is actually identifying this element so you can say on the background on the background this text box having some name and features which we can use to identify that particular element and we need to provide that information to the selenium as well so you can say like driver dot find element I want to find element by x path and this is the x path so this code is just going to find the element but we want to perform some operation or actions on that as well and maybe it's a selenium so we are going to put selenium world into the search box and that's it this is what actually I want as a part of my first script and we are going to close the browser prior to that i will put thread dot slip so that at least you can see on the ui what is happening so this is a hard coded slip okay so fine my first automation script is ready which will run on the firefox driver and uh, there is only one action so let's try to run this particular script with java application let's see what okay so yeah guys we are done with our first selenium automation script we don't see any pass fail result as such which because uh, we have not configured this particular script with testng very soon we will configure this particular script with testng as well where we can get the result as well but we are able to run our first selenium script okay thank you